I'm Christina Wagner with Valley Voice Digital Magazine, and I'm here with my good friend, Linda Michaels, owner of Scout and Molly's Boutique. I'm a big fan of this boutique. I've found everything here from this fabulous cocktail dress that my boyfriend was a fan of too, to accessories that helped me to spruce up this great outfit that I wore to a sporting event. Linda, you've got it all here. I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> all right. So for many of the people watching this, you know, we're, we haven't heard of Scout and Molly's before. So tell us a little bit about Scout and Molly's. So Scout and Molly's is a brand that started on the East Coast in Raleigh, North Carolina, and the founder named Scout and Molly's after her two Labrador retrievers. And I have a Labrador retriever, so I was able to connect with the brand, and here we are. And I'm sure you like the clothes. So tell us about the clothes. The, a little bit of background of the clothes here. So the clothes are just beautiful, if I can say so myself. Mm -hmm. So as Christina mentioned, um, anything from a black cocktail dress to a nice blouse if you need a work outfit, or a casual t-shirt if you want to dress down a little bit, a pair of jeans, we have a little bit of everything. I love that. And mm -hmm. I know that you also have a heart for giving back to the community. And some of your designers are aligned with that too. Yes. So tell us about those designers. So a couple of my favorites are um, Liv and Grace. Which and these are the bracelets? These are the bracelets. And so this company gives back to young women every time you buy a bracelet. Mm -hmm. Gives back to the foundation. The other one of my fan favorites is a company called Amour Vert, which is French for love green. And what they do is they plant a tree for every t-shirt that's sold. Nice. Mm -hmm. Any other ones that give back as well? We also have, a through our accessory yes. line, we have lotions and soaps. And for every bar of soap that is purchased, then a case of water goes back to a child in need. That's great. So great gift ideas here as well yes. for others. And, and, and as a consumer, when I know that I can shop somewhere, get something that I love and give back, that's a great win-win. So it, it, makes, it makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. Now, your background, let's talk a little bit about that. Do you have a long background in retail? Never. Never. Scary. Exciting! Exciting! <laughs> so tell us about your background. So my background has always, I've always had a passion to help women. And so through my corporate experiences, I've been able to help women succeed in their careers. And I've also dabbled a little bit in helping uh, women through a networking organization um, and that you know, connecting women in business. So a little bit of everything involving women. And do you feel that your, your, your path in corporate America has in any way helped you as an owner of a boutique and what you're doing here today? Absolutely. I, I would say a couple of key takeaways would be listening. So I had to do a lot of that in corporate America, uh, listening to employees, solving their problems. Well, it's, it translates very well into the retail space. So women will walk into the boutique. They may not be sure of what they're looking for. They may not be confident in their bodies and who they are. And so I love giving advice and help and making them feel beautiful. So let's talk about those women that are walking into the boutique. Who are they? What, what, are, their, what are their ages? What, what range are we talking about? So we're talking about women who are, are basically all shapes and sizes. Tall women, short women, maybe a little bit larger, uh, but we're also talking about daughters, mothers, grandmothers. So I have the fortunate um, full realm of space that I can sell to. And as I walk through the boutique, every time I come in here, I see something that my college student would like, my grandmother would like, my mother would like. So it's, it definitely, I always find things that I love. So it definitely speaks to many gener many um, age ranges. Now, what about the different events? I, I, know, I know your creativity. I know you have this background in, in networking and, and you are a master networker. Did you hear that? She's a master networker. So if you're networking, you need to get in here to but shop and to connect. Not as good as her. But One day. <laughs> what, what type of events are you doing here? So anything from, as you mentioned, networking organizations, and it could be women only, could be men and women. Um, I don't discriminate against the men. They shop here too. Um, but also we do anything from like maybe a scarf tying workshop 
to a yoga class, to maybe self-defense for women. And I think my favorite of all would be my charity events where I get to write a check at the end of the day. That's awesome. So if someone is watching this and they have a charity, that would be a good person to connect with you. I would love to connect with them. Do you want and to give you money? Give you money, <laughs> yes. That's great, that's exciting. Yes. And um, anything else that you think people should know about Scout and Molly's? I think that um, we provide an environment that when you walk into our store, it feels like you're shopping in your best friend's closet. And so that's the experience that we want to bring. So come shop in your best friend's closet. You can find Scout and Molly's on Facebook. You can find them online. And I hope to see you here at Scout and Molly's very soon.